Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Ryder here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with a blocked left ear, and as you can see, they've got um, this occluding plug of wax and quite a hairy ear canal entrance. You can see these hairs now. They do slightly impede the view, but not enough for, for, for me to um, uh, pluck or remove in any manner because we can still visualize the wax and perform the procedure. So there's a bit of a stubborn um, piece of wax here, quite adhesive to the canal walls. It's got a lot of keratin there. So I've just applied some olive oil spray just to loosen this. Now, if you continue to watch, this wax was actually infected. Um, they had a fungal infection developing on this plug of wax. More specifically, we call that otomycosis. And um, there's two main strains of fungal infections that can occur in the ear. Uh, the most common type, probably 70 to 80 percent of the time, is a fungal a strain of fungal infection called Aspergillus niger, and that's characterized by either um, white, yellow, or black fungal spores, and almost this complex of uh, woolly appearance, almost like cotton wool fibers developing. And the second strain that can occur in the ear is called Candida, it's the remaining 20 30 percent of the time, and that's more of a thick. Uh, creamy discharge and once I've removed this plug which is quite stubborn I'm going to use a hook in a moment you'll see the fungal spores not only on the anterior canal wall so the front part of the ear canal but um, the the kind of uh, the formation of the white strands like cotton wool fibers on the wax itself that so uh, currently you can't see that because it's all um, behind on the reverse side of this wax that's going towards the eardrum so um, this time of year, um, increased temperature, um, humidity, people getting in, getting water in their ears on holiday uh, or trying to cool down, you're just more prone to getting fungal infections. In fact, fungal infections are more renowned for hot, humid climates. Um, you could actually call the UK hot and humid this, this summer. It's been extremely hot here, um, as I believe it is all across, across the world. So I'm just going to use a hook now. I'm just going to glide it to the roof of the ear canal. There's a little gap, just a small the gap. So I'm going to then turn this hook, almost like a key in a lock. And I want to get the tip behind. And as I extract the wax, I want to make sure the tip doesn't come in contact with any part of the ear canal. So there's the Asperger niger. You can see all those spores and cotton wool strand formations on the wax. I'm um, going to just zoom in with the camera in a minute so that's just dead skin keratin that's the wax and on the reverse side you can see all the fungal spores developing on the wax and when we re-enter the ear you will also see some fungal spores just there to the left you can see them uh, and there's also a few on the canal wall otherwise the, ear, the eardrum's healthy so it just mocked as many of the spores out as possible And the patient's going to use some antifungal ear treatment. Um, but fungal infections, they can be very stubborn. So typically they're used for a fortnight, but they can be used for additional fortnights as well. Key thing for this patient is to avoid water in the ear. So the right ear is also blocked. There's no um, clear signs of any fungal infections. I just want to get the endoscope around the ear, ear hairs on this side. So I'm just using the sucker. We're going to just extract this. Is far less stubborn than the left side. It's a bit softer, anything on this side. There we are, so eardrum's visible now. Nice and healthy, it's no very apparent fungal spores here, so it just appears to be. Although there's a little black dot there, so, um, so it's more uh, just prevalent in their left side. Ironically, they did mention getting water in that left side. But I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all keeping well and safe. And do stay tuned. And be nice and be kind to each other.